All right, it is Thursday, it's boot camp time. So we have a pretty good setup here. We're gonna do about a three minute warm up, do some gateway exercises to get us ready for our main sets. And we're doing four different circuits and circuit one through three, we do each exercise for 60 seconds. And then we get a 15 second rest, come back and do that 45 seconds each. And then we come back after a 15 second rest and we do that for 30 seconds. So we're descending our time for each circuit through one through three. And then we have a finisher circuit, which is number four. And we do three rounds of a three exercises and they're back to back to back to back. Each one is 30 seconds. We do that for three rounds. So by the end, we're a little tired, but then at the end, we have to push ourselves to get through this uh, a block, which is uh, a little more cardio base. All right. So I'm going to head back here at my timer. We're going to do our little warm up. My name is Allison. I hope you brought water and a towel and you have some space to work out in. And if you have weights at home, you can use those as well. All right. Here we go. And if you have music, by all means, turn it on, blast it, whatever you, your heart, little heart desires. I have no music, so if you will not hear my breathing, you can turn on the music. So here's a quick warm up, gateway exercises. The first one we have. Is the glute bridge, and we're going to hold that. So I'm gonna find my space, my mat, or on your floor. And we're gonna do a glute bridge and we're gonna hold it. So we're gonna roll back using our posterior backside. We're gonna lift ourselves up and we're gonna hold, push our knees outward, shoulders down and back. Good, and then we're gonna do a dynamic glute bridge. We're gonna drop down, lift ourselves back up, Hold, squeeze. So at the top, we're going to hold and squeeze, but we're going to try to also elongate and drop. Lift, elongate. Good, two more. Good. One more. Good. We're going to do some 90 90 sweeps. We're going to put our knees and our hips aligned. We're going to sweep the arm up and over. We're going to do five of these. The shoulder that's on the ground, we're going to try to keep that connected. So we lift and open up our shoulder. Two more after this one. Try to come all the way down to your backside. One more. Should feel pretty good stretch in your armpit. We're going to switch sides. We're going to do a 90 90 sweep. Knees are stacked under your hips. Three more. One more. Good. We're going to flip over. We're going to do. Uh, Quadruped, quadruped alternating. So we're gonna lift and lower our opposite leg and arm. Try to think about using your glute to do the lifting in your backside, lifting. Two more. Good, and stop there. We're gonna stand up. We're going to do a couple squats with overhead reaching and then we're going to get right into our main circuit. So basic squat, tailbone goes back, arms go forward, we're going to reach forward, shift our weight back, two more and then we'll do some overhead reaches. Here, we're going to hold, we're going to reach up and stand up, good. Keep those arms up, chest up. And we are going to drop down as far as we can. Squeeze at the top, toes facing forward. Good. Two more. Good. Arm circles, bring those feet together. Really open up our chest. Reach back. Let your shoulder blades fall back to your tailbone. Two, now forward. Good. 
Good. Stay here. Let's reach up on our toes. Reach up, up, up. So we have a little bit of jumping rope coming up. I want to make sure our Achilles and lower. Good. One more time. Reach. Our calves are not too stiff before we do some jumping rope. Good. And relax. All right. So we're going to do circuit number one. We have our little imaginary jump rope for 60 seconds for jumping rope. And then we go right into a push up side plank. Get this out of the way. Slide this forward. We have a push up side plank. We're going to rotate. So we're going to go into our best push up, shift our weight and open. Push up, shift our feet and our weight and open. Back to center. We do that for 60 seconds, and then we're going to drop to a forearm plank and do knee to elbow. So we're going to drop down, forearm plank, knee to elbow, knee to elbow. Looks like this from the front. We'll do that for 60 seconds. Have a little break in between those three exercises. Come back and do it around two and three, cutting down on the time. All right, take this off so that I'm warmed up. All right, here we go. 60 seconds, jumping rope, boot camp. In three, two, one, go. 60 seconds. Keep going. Less than 30 seconds. Come on. Twenty seconds. Keep going, jump. Less than ten. Come on, come on, come on. Two, one, push up side plank. Got a 10 second rest there. All right, got our push ups. If you need to do these on your knees, you can. So if you're on your knees, you still can rotate and lift. Still rotate and lift. Good. Still can do push ups on your knees. Keep those legs behind you. Shift your weight, open up the chest. Less than 15 seconds, come on. Good, we have our forearm plank, knee to elbow. Drop down, elbows under your shoulders. Good, knee to elbow. Less than 30 seconds. Keep going. Good. 
Keep going, keep going. Less than 10, push. There's your break, nice. 10 seconds, we're getting all those three again. Cutting down on the time to 45 seconds. Two, one, jump rope. Come on. Keep going, keep going. Less than 10 seconds. Two, one, 10 second break. Push up, side plank, front. Down to the floor, best plank, solid plank, hands under your shoulders, rotate, lift, good. Nice and slow. Oh, forgot that push up, don't forget the push up. Fun part, gotta do the push up. That's the fun part. Down, up, rotate, combo move. Good. Get your push up in. Keep going. Less than 10 seconds. Less than three, two, one. There's your 10 second break. Forearm, plank, elbow to knee. In three, two, and go. Four, three, two, one. 10 second break. Nice. One more round. Whew. Jump and rope. 30 seconds. We got this. Jump rope. Come on. Jump the rope, come on. Keep going, go, go, go. Find your springs, come on. Three, two, one. 10 second break, you earned it. Back to the mat or your floor, your space. Nice, sturdy, sturdy plank. Hands under your shoulders, rotate. The fun part, push up, good, keep going. Good, good, good. Good, 10 second break. Forearm plank, elbow to knee. In three, two, one. There you go, there's your forearm plank, elbow to knee. Keep that bottom down. So we shouldn't be up here. We want to be down here. Elbow to knee. Alternative, you can do, you can lie here and then lift up, drop down, lift up, drop down, lift up, drop down. All right. 
So circuit one, done, it's out of here. Moving on to circuit two. I will show you. The next few exercises, which are three, and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna do circuit number two. All right, so we have, this is where you can get the weights or a weight. Make sure you drink your water. Always important, important part of your workout. We got a reverse lunge with a chop. All right, here we go. Got this dumbbell in front of us. We're gonna reverse lunge. The leg that's on the stand side, we're gonna drop here, back to the top. Drop in, row. So we have a reverse lunge with a chop. You don't have to do that fast, just do the slow and controlled. We're coming back and we have jump squats. You can hang out to this dumbbell if you want, or you can just place it on the bottom of your choice. We're gonna jump and squat. If you wanna hang onto that dumbbell, jump and squat. Just extra weight. That's the second one. We're gonna use a handy dandy mat for your space. And we have our bicycle crunches. We're gonna alternate without kicking your water over or your couch or your coffee table. Alternating elbow to knee your bicycle crunch. So those are our three exercises. We're cutting them down from 60 seconds, 45 seconds to 30 seconds. Done with circuit two. Here we go, circuit two. We got our reverse lunge with our chop. Grabbing my dumbbell right now. 60 seconds is on, here we go. Reverse lunge, chop to the side that the leg is in stance. Good. So you can do it in one motion, chop back as you step back, or if you feel more, if you feel a little bit more stable stepping back and then chopping, feel free to do that. You are in charge of your own workout. You know your body, you know your movements. Alternate, you keep going. Alternate is here, squat, chop, back to the top. Squat, chop, back to the top. Less than 10 seconds. And then we're going to jump squats. Jump squats in 10 seconds. And go squat, jump. Notice when you have a weight, you don't go as, as fast because you got to control the weight. Less than 30 seconds. Less than 10, keep going. Get a couple more in. There's your break. Next up, bicycle crunches. Here we go, 60 seconds. And opposite knee, opposite elbow. I would recommend Kicking all the way straight up, get a full extension. Coming back to the top, full extension. Sometimes you tend to stay here and just swivel. Your best bet is full extension. Let your heel come close to the floor as you extend. Good.
Less than 10 seconds. Get a couple more in. Come on, push. Roll up back to the top. All right. Back to the beginning. Reverse lunge with a chop. This time, all three, 45 seconds. We're descending. We're cutting down on the time. Oh, yep, see, punch balance. There we go. Got to find, find your rhythm. Good, keep going. Less than five, four, oop, there's our 10 second break, jump squats. Shake it out, get your breath, come on. Three, two, one, and go, squat jumps. Less than 15, come on, three or four more, push, push. Ten second break, here we go. Find your spot on the mat, on your carpet, in your floor. Shoot your dog away, your cat away. Make it your space, good, go. Fifteen seconds. Push. Keep going. No hurts and no burns. Good. There's your ten second break. Break to get your dumbbell. Get back up on the mat. Off from the mat. We got a reverse lunge and chop. Go. Reverse lunge chop. Good, next up, jump squat, come on. Go. Less than 10. Good job. We're sorry. Yeah, less than 10 seconds. Keep going. 10 second break. Got our bicycle, bicycle crunches. Do less than three. Find your space. Go. Less than three, two, one, 10 second break, nice. 
I think that was 30 seconds. Yeah. Activity completed. Circuit two is completed. Grab your water. We're going to move on to circuit number three. Show you the exercises. I'm gonna get you going. All right. So first up, we have alternating four lunges. Again, you can use weights, or you can put them down. I'm just gonna put them down. One of them down. So we have four lunges. We're gonna forward lunge back and forth, alternating with your hands. You can do whatever you like. We can forward lunge and then rotate. Forward lunge and rotate to make it a combo move, or you can just do your forward lunges and you can hold it as a goblet hold. Plie squat, cab raises. We can hang on to that dumbbell. Plie squats, toes out a little. We're going to plie squat to the top and cab raise. Down and raise. Down and raise. Make it a little harder. You can always hold this over your head. Down and cab raise. Down, cap raise. You can do that. Then we have seated oblique twist. Again, you can hang on to your weight if you want. Scoop back onto your the triangle, kind of on your tailbone. Nice little base there. Lift those feet, and we're going to twist and rotate. Almost like we're trying to put the dumbbell behind us. Behind you, behind you, and back to the top. 60 seconds each for that 10 second break. Cutting down the time from 60 seconds, 45 to 30. All right, here we go. Alternating front lunges and begin. So I'm just gonna hang on to this. We're gonna front lunge here and alternate. I wanna get a little bit more momentum on my front lunges. So I'm hanging on to the weight for a little bit more intensity. On these lunges, keep going. You have less than 30 seconds. You step forward. Don't make too big of a stride. Drop down. Squeeze that glue. Open up your hip flexor. Step back through. Good, plie squats, cab raises. Get toe out a little bit. Arms overhead or dumbbell, wherever you like it, added weight. But plie squat, cab raise. Good, back to the top. Plie squat, cab raise, back to the top. Good, make sure your, your uh, kneecaps Tracking over your your forefoot, and you can just drop here. You don't have to hold that weight above your head. That just adds a little bit more intensity. If you want, you can hold it out front. Two, squat down, lift. I just recommend try to use your back muscles when you're doing this, so you don't want your elbows to your ears. Let your shoulders down and back. Plie, down, lift. Good, 10 second break. All right, we have those oblique twists. Here we go, two, one. Lift those feet, make it more, more difficult. If you find your knees are constantly rocking in, you always can put a pillow between your knees. We, we will sometimes use a uh, yoga block here. Or if you want, you can fix your feet and rotate. Put that dumbbell behind your back. Good. 
Less than 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. One. Let's work this third circuit. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ten second break. Back to our forward lunges. <sighs> I'm gonna goblet hold this right in the front here. Now we're in our 45 second cycle. Two and one PA squat, calf raises. Nice wide base support. You need to drop the dumbbell down. Closer to your hips, plie squat, cat raises, plie squat, cat raise. Keep your chest up, continue to breathe. This is a little bit too much. I always can just turn it into a just wider stand squat. Or you can stand and do calf raises. Shake it out good. Oblique twist. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Start. 45 seconds worth. Less than 20 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Next job, back to the top. We're on our cycle with 30 seconds. Forward lunges, alternating. Goblet hold, overhead press. Your choice, and you go 30 seconds. Good 10 second break. We got the plie squat. With a cab raise. Oblique twist. Cutting down the time here for the last 30 seconds. Go.
Less than five seconds. Come on. Ten second break. So that was circuit number three. We cut that down. Now we have circuit number four. It's kind of a finisher. There is no rest. We do all three exercises back to back to back. Each one is 30 seconds. We do that, repeat that three times. So at first up, the first exercise is butt kicks. So ideally, you want to just bring your heel to your bottom, heel to your bottom, heel to your bottom at your own pace. I typically put my hands behind me to make sure I'm bringing my heels up to my bottom, I'm not cheating. Pull squats. Go from that. We're gonna pulse here for 30 seconds. Pulse, 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 side view. Foot is facing forward. Bottom goes back. We're gonna pulse. And then we have alternating kick throughs. So we're gonna quickly go from pulse squats to the floor. Kick, kick, kick through. So it's a plank. Get into your best sturdy plank, and you're going to kick one leg through to the opposite side. Just kick. You can keep that foot low. You don't have to lift it much past the floor. Try to keep your hands close to your shoulders. Don't let them shift away. Okay, sturdy plank. All three, three times through, back to back to back, 30 seconds. So you have to get up and down very quickly. Get the timer set for this. Boot camp, 30 second finisher. All right, here we go. Butt kicks. Two, one, go. This way. That's a 10 seconds, come on. We're going through this one, come on. 30 seconds, pulse squats. Pulse. Stay here on pulse, point. put your hands in front. Elbow goes back, forearms go front. Get a little bit more balance. Pulse, deep, Ooh. come on. Up next, we got kick throughs. Kick throughs, plank. Hands under your shoulders, don't let them migrate. Ooh, kick throughs, sorry. Kick, 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 come on. Three, two, one, back to the top, all right. Butt kicks, come on, bring those heels up. Good, pull squats, come on, right into it. No rest. If you do need to rest, by all means take it. This is your workout, you know? You're the boss of your own time, your own workout, own decisions, you know yourself. Just keep pulsing if you can. Stop and take a breath. Hands are out, tailbone back. Four, three, two, one, kick throughs. Find your sturdy plank, kick through, come on. Work those hips. Use your backside to lift yourself up. Pull 
Less than 10 seconds, come on. That's where you need the music. All right. Back to the top, butt kicks, come on, no rest. To finish your last one, heels your bottom. Kick, 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 lift, lift, lift. As if self talk, sometimes you just gotta talk to yourself, keep going, fun. Four, three, two, and one. Pulse right into it. Come on, the last little bit here. Pulse, pulse, come on. Come on. If anyone's taken my classes in the past, I just kind of talk to the body part that hurts the most. Like I'm like, come on legs, keep going. Come on arms, keep going. So right now I'm telling my legs, keep going. Come on, three, two, one, plank, alternate kick. Come on arms, hold me up, kick, kick, kick. Keep going, come on, less than 20 seconds, push. Kick through, kick through. Break that midline. Stay sturdy. Activity completed. Done. Nice job, everyone. All right. So we're going to stay here since we're close to the floor. See. Nice and seated. We're going to bring one leg in. Give it a hug, stretch out those glutes. Bring our heart rate back down, bring our breathing back to, to just minimal. That's a breathy and switch. Other glute, bring that leg in, give it a hug, lift your chest up. Two more stretches. Stand up, step back, push your heel, lift up. It's one of my favorites. Keep your pelvis straight, lift over, really get your hip flexor. This arm can reach back past your head. Those hips forward, switch, push back, lift up, keep those hips forward, reach. I don't want your headlights forward. So if your hips are pivoting, you always can put your hands on your hips. Make sure your headlights are forward. Hips are back. Back to center. Arms overhead. Stretch up. Big stretch. Bend to the right. Keep that chest up though. Center. Back to the left. Arm circles, one and two, forward. All right, thank you for joining me with boot camp. And I'm Allison. I hope you had a really great workout. I know I'm dripping with sweat. It was kind of tough, but you know, I really enjoyed it. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.